Hello dear viewers, we are starting again our work in the state television company Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Parliament of Armenians of Western Armenia, the trial of Dink's murder is ongoing. Tribute to Komitas Vartapet in Kyutahia, Sons of Western Armenia, Arturo Sarukhan, Mehetarian School of Pera, Constantinople. The start of winter in Ardahan. It is mockery that COP29 will be held in Azerbaijan, Koda. President Armenia Gabriel speech at UN. Thank you, Mr. President. At this moment, while I speak to you, the Armenian nation as an indigenous people is undergoing genocide, ethnic cleansing, and targeted destruction of its historical and cultural heritage. We face not only threats and acts of revenge, but also crimes against humanity. Therefore, it is necessary to strengthen the mechanisms that will allow recording and preventing these actions in order to ensure the safety and protection of representatives of indigenous people, their families, friends, and legal representatives. At the same time, the safety of my people and all indigenous people must also be ensured. The Parliament of the Armenians of Western Armenia supports this proposal in the region of Eastern Europe, Central Asia, and Transcaucasia, and calls for it to be extended to the entire indigenous population, as they may become victims of retaliation. Thank you, Mr. President. Armena Gabriel the trial on murder of Randing involves 12 defendants on charge of constitutional violation. The trial was ongoing in the 14th Court of Criminal Crimes. The court hearing was postponed until January 10. After the release of the accused, he was charged with so-called not being a member of the organization but supporting it. In the previous court session, the prosecutor's office demanded to stop the case for the accused. The reason was on the basis of the timelessness of the case and some of the defendants were in post sections. The prosecutor filed a motion to dismiss the charges against the accused. Some asked. Lawyers for Ding's family criticized the prosecution's demand. They stressed that the reduced sentence and admission of timelessness don't reflect the reality of the case. One of the defendants, Erhan Tunjel, in his defense speech blamed the police officers. He emphasized that the opportunities to prevent the crime were neglected. The next court session will be held on 10 January 2025. On 20 October, a ceremony was held entitled Komitas Kyutai Natsi from the Perspective of Art. It was organized by the Working Group of Historic, Cultural Heritage and Local Values of City Council of Kutahaya. It was held at the whole of Kutahaya Cultural and Art Society with the support of municipality. Komitas Bartapet, who was born in 1869 in Kutahaya, is a world-renowned musicologist and he spent part of his life in the city for his creative life began. Ahmed Sunal, who is the head of the initiative group of the event, emphasized to commemorate the world-famous musicologist Komitas Vartabet in his birthplace is a unique feeling. They when the world is in wars and human tragedies, we must appreciate the unifying power of art and strive to spread the culture of peace. Arturo Saruhan was the ambassador of Mexico to the United States. Now he works at the Brookings Institution. He is also a visiting professor at the University of Southern California. Saruhan was born in Mexico City, the capital of Mexico. His ancestors are from Russia. His grandfather, Artur Saruhan, was born there. His paternal grandmother survived the genocide committed against the Armenians, and then they fled to Greece and then to Venice, where she met Saruhan's grandfather. Arturo is Armenian on his father's side and Spanish and Catalan on his mother's side. He was appointed an, as an ambassador by President Felipe Calderon. He was also Mexico's chief diplomat. Mkhitaryan School in Paris, situated in Constantinople, was not only a center of education but also a symbol of the preservation and development of Armenian culture, founded by the efforts of the Mkhitaryan congregation at the beginning of the 19th century. This education center played a key role in the life of the Armenian community of Constantinople. The purpose of the school was to teach Armenian youth the Armenian language, literature, and culture in order to preserve the Armenian identity in a foreign land. Over the years, Mkhitaryan school became a carrier of knowledge and carrier of Armenian upbringing and educational traditions. It supported the formation of the generation of Armenian intellectuals and national figures. The start of winter in Ardahan. This morning, the first snowflakes replaced the fresh traces of the night's rain, and the whole area of Ardahan was covered with the white sheet of winter. Nature was deepened in the charming witness of snow. The trees and plants were covered with a small layer of snow, turning the area into a winter wonderland. With the start of snow, however, difficulties also occurred for wildlife in the highlands, and 
The wild horses were forced to go down to the banks of the Kuo River in search of food. This impressive sense of Ardahan are not evidence of beauty of nature, but also remind us that the cold breath of winter always brings new experiments. It is mockery that COP29 will be held in Azerbaijan, Koda. The COP29 summit is just around the corner, and this time it will be held in Baku. It is expected next month. About 50,000 people will come to Baku to participate in the event. Koda writes, this may seem like a joke why 95% of Baku's export earnings come from oil and gas. The government of Baku is determined to ecologize its international image ahead of the climate conference. They Simply censor and jail journalists who dare to investigate climate corruption and environmental crimes in their own country. The Azerbaijani regime blamed first the West and then Russia for organizing the protest action. Residents in the area complain of respiratory illnesses from the fumes. The local journalists are under enormous pressure from the authorities. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.